uh, it's over the National Hunt flat race then. Showing them two miles and only four in last week. How many we got this week? It's Asiano Commander for him. He's at the top. Tiger Moth Paul Rhodes is the second one. West Leak Ryan Costello Zico for Graham Clutterbuck. Red Iron Knights Leon Van Rensburg. She's electric Derek Hinton and six years for James Shea. Uh, seven of them then this week, so a little bit better than the last time. And called in and away. This is the fourth two minor I've had to have a five so far. And Tiger Moth is just about the first one to show as they don't make their way to the first flight. There's no hold any flight because it's a National Hunt flat race. Tiger Moth, who started the season in a blaze of glory, winning in weeks one and two, but he's been pretty disappointed in weeks three and four, so he's trying to regain his reputation, I think, today. She's Electric is the new superstar on that National Hunt flat in, I think, that one definitely won in week three, I think. I think won last week. It was luckily for me, I didn't have to do the National Hunt flat race last week. I'm not talking about it again. We can't quite figure out why we don't like this race. Most commentators being stewed with the jumps, of course. And um, I commentate on two miles on the flat every week, and I don't mind it. But for some reason, this National Hunt flat race just doesn't seem to generate any excitement. I don't know why. Maybe we ought to try and try a little bit harder to make it exciting. We should commentate it as a flat race. Or maybe we should get Tim to do it. That might be a good idea. And it's West Lake in the lead, then, or West Leak even. From Zico and Tiger Moth in six years, and Asiano Commanders after that one. And she's electric, and Red Iron Knights is the back market. West Leak is in front. I think the truth of the matter is probably that we just do follow racing, really. And we know that National Flight Race is a little more than public schooling, really, because they're not in there to win a lot of them, and they're just a Get a feel for what it's all about and turning up at the race course and seeing the people and hearing the crowd and things you get one or two that are competitive but more often than not a national flat race you can rule out 90% of the field in five minutes. West Leak is in the lead, Tiger Moth is second, Zico third then Red Iron Knights and six years, Asiano Commander and She's Electric. To that one. So they're already into the final five then, and Red Iron Knights has moved through to take a challenge for the lead. With Tiger Moth appearing to go, be going well. Zico will be hoping to land a race this season that's a little more than a free kick, and Asiano Commander just at the back, but the race is beginning to hot up now and as they come towards the final three furlongs. And Red Iron Knights and Tiger Moth. Here comes She's Electric, six years looks to be going well. Zico has now got a bit of a split. Asiano Commander next, West Leak is the one that's dropped away, but Red Iron Knights passes the two furlong pole with a lead of a length from Tiger Moth in second. She's Electric third, Zico after that one in six years, and Asiano Commander, but Red Iron Knights is starting to pull away. I think they're two lengths to the good from Tiger Moth is under pressure. Zico isn't winning on that one, they race it up now towards the winning post. They've got less than half a furlong to go, and Red Iron Knights is going to take the National Flat Race this week. Up towards the line, Red Iron Knights takes it close for a second, probably just Zico from Tiger Moth. She's electric. Asiano Commander, six years, and finally West Leak. So it's another one for Leon. Although that's his first one today, I think. Zico second. Tiger Moth third, so Red Iron Knights for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. Zico for Graham Clutterbuck second. Tiger Moth, Paul Rhodes third. She's Electric for Derek Hinton fourth. And six years for James Shea was fifth.